Hi guys. Hi everyone. Hey, how's your uh, Saturday going? So I'm here. I'm just chilling, munching on some jalapeno uh, poppers. These cheese doodle jalapeno cheddar poppers are so good. And yeah, if you haven't tried it, you have to try it. It's so bad. Anyway. Yeah, you ever like just sit in the bus and you see like some girl just snacking away on her chips and she sucks like all the flavor off her fingers with the bits in the nail and who knows she probably didn't even wash her hands that's pretty disgusting right so anyways today I wanted to talk about one of the biggest issues I think all of us have unless um, you guys will disagree uh, so how many of how many of you guys have been angry in your life I'm sure you can recall at least one moment in your life where you have been really, really angry. And thank God that not all of us are in jail. <laughs> but cause we, because we know how to control our anger, right? But the fact is that anger will eat the life out of you. It will ruin your life. It will take away your life. And um, yeah, it will probably shorten your lifespan, and it will suck the life out of you and the life out of your soul. So I'm wondering, when you're angry and you need to address those issues, you guys might go see a therapist, right? Because you have the these years and years of anger built up, and you just can't let it go, and Every time you think of that person, you just want to, like, punch the wall, I don't know, put a hole in the wall, right? I'm sure some of you have holes in your walls. I've seen that before. <laughs> but, anyways, I just wanted to address anger in a little bit more comedic way because, you know when you go get therapy and then you're talking to your therapist and, you know, you start thinking, like, really deep into it and they just make you like think even deeper into the issue itself and you have to like just reminisce everything you have to just go back and be in that place again that you just wanted to run away from and just you were just repressing all those memories until now you know those angry angry memories and you start crying and you just start like feeling all that fire build up in your head again when you're talking about it or even the therapist might just go so deep into it that later you start thinking, oh, hey, yeah, maybe that was why, or maybe it was my fault, or something like that. You know, you just start thinking even more deeply, and then later you're like, ah, oh, fuck that. You know, I hate that fucking bitch, asshole, whatever, right? And you just get back to that hate mode again, maybe. But the fact is that, you know, therapy will not always help you. It will help you in a little bit, but I'm sure some of you have different types of therapists like Mr. Alcohol and Mr. Cigarette, and you guys all know who that is. <laughs> so, yeah, and they will pretty much kill you, so you want to stop attending those therapy sessions with those therapists. And, you know, you just gotta, like address the issue like in a different way like somewhere like that you'll be and you can just laugh about it you know or something but also address the issue so basically um, I'm doing this in a little bit more funnier way where this is angry you <laughs> so anger equals toilet tissue you're the toilet tissue right so let's put them right here. Okay. So, and when you guys, when guys see a therapist, like girls, it's okay to cry, right? But when guys, you guys have like your balls governing your feelings and all of that. So you guys are not allowed to cry. You know, that's one of your laws, you know, in the world of men. So I don't know how you guys, you know, let it out. I know like most of you guys like to maybe punch somebody or you know I don't know just drink it off 
and yeah I mean do you really want to drink every time you feel angry like oh my gosh like how many times have you you know opened the bottle of beer or Johnny Walker or McKellen just because you thought of that person that you just hate so much or that hurt you so much you know but come on you're gonna do that for the rest of your life you gotta seriously stop killing yourself okay you're not really hurting the other person you're hurting yourself and you gotta stop it so basically anger equals toilet tissue and this is you you're very very angry and the real you is inside okay so can you imagine so each toilet tissue piece the sheets are layers and layers of anger and look how much you have piled up look how much anger you have piled up you know and every time, you know, you're gonna go drink and, you know, you know what it is? It's like, let's say this is a knife, right? It's like you stabbing yourself. You're like your own voodoo doll and you're just stabbing yourself. And eventually this will stab you inside. This is you, right? You're stabbing yourself. You're not stabbing the other person. And this layers of anger is not you. This is not you. Do you look like that? Do you want to look like that every day and walk around like that? Come on, I'm sure you don't. So stop stabbing yourself. Every time you drink, every time you smoke, you're stabbing yourself and you're going to die eventually. So stop killing yourself. That's like slow suicide. Anger is like slow suicide. It's either going to give you a disease one day. It's going to kill you. It's going to creep up on you. I'm telling you. It will affect your physical, emotional, mental health. And you do not want that, okay? Life is too precious. Life is too short. And it's a gift from God. You guys got to enjoy it and count every blessing of every second, okay? So, basically, this is Dr. Lim in the house telling you that you got to let go of the anger, okay? And this is another part of you, alright? You're going to cry every time. You think of the hurt, the pain that they've caused you, it's not going to help. You know, years and years go by and you're just repressing it. And you're just adding more layers, more and more layers of hate, anger, and torment to yourself, you know. While you're actually burying your real self, your real true self, you know, that happy self. You're burying that. And you're never, you're just going to be like this for the rest of your life. Do you want to be like this? Come on, look at that mess. Look, this is how your face is gonna eventually look like. This is how it's gonna look like one day. So I'm just saying that anger doesn't help at all. And I've been there, trust me. And yeah, there are still some people that I cannot forgive in my life that have been in my life. But the thing is that, the fact is that the one more person that you forgive the more you're going to be able to love yourself and accept yourself and take off some layers of yourself of that hate, you know? And you look less and less angry. Like, you know what I mean? Look, you're less angry. <laughs> so you just got to, like, rip that shit off, you know? Just rip that angry shit out and just let it go. I mean, whatever. They hurt you. They stabbed you. What are you going to do? You just got to let it go and forgive and... You know, eventually you find your peace little by little, but you gotta stop drinking it out, smoking it out, you know, you gotta find healthier outlets, seriously, I don't know, get a punching bag in your house, get like a voodoo doll, you know, just let it out and then, <laughs> I'm telling you, okay, you just gotta let it out, just let it go, let go of the anger, you know, the hate, just let it go, and it just helps a lot when you find healthier outlets, you know? You're not destroying yourself, you're not killing yourself. You're not wasting another second of your life just hating on somebody or just feeling pain inside of you because honestly, they're probably out there just living happily and hurting other people, you know, just hurting more people. And you're here yourself just killing yourself with alcohol, cigarettes, whatever it is. You know, just, you deserve to be happy, and you deserve to live a life of peace, and 
not spend another moment in pain or sadness or anger, okay? So, I'm telling you, it's like a toilet tissue, okay? You just gotta unwrap it, rip it off. You gotta just, you know, even if it takes a while, it takes time, but, you know, you take off each layer one by one, eventually you're gonna get there. You're gonna get to that real self that you were meant to be, that happy self, okay? You gotta find your inner soul, your true self, and stop burying yourself in anger, okay? And then you can finally enjoy your life and be happy, and you can finally love some other people out there, you know? Stop being f filled with so much hate, and it's just gonna kill you, and you know, I mean, I've been angry for like years over some people that have, have hurt me, but I realized there was actually a, one person that was very close to me, and when I was able to forgive that person, I just had this tremendous amount of peace and realized why God wants us to forgive someone, God wants us to forgive others, and it's so that we can experience joy, peace, happiness, you know? And that's what we were meant to be. We were meant to love. We were meant to be at peace and meant to be happy, okay? So you guys just got to unroll each layer one by one, you know? Just pray about it. Go jogging. I don't know. Just eat some, like, poppers, jalapeno poppers, you know? Be happy. Just, you know, you got to just breathe it out and let go just let it go you know little by little you'll get better and i feel like just anger is just the big issue you know it just drives you nuts and you know makes you do things that you never thought you would do and you know just makes you crazy so just don't be crazy and just be normal and happy and it's tough it's tough i mean getting hurt is tough but don't hurt yourself just because somebody has hurt you, okay? You deserve better than that. So what I'm saying is that eventually you just peel off layers and layers of that hate. You're going to find yourself. And here, here you are. This is the happy you, okay? This is the happy you eating jalapeno poppers. And being happy, okay? You know, life is too short. You gotta spend your days laughing, loving people, accepting people. I mean, stay away from the bullshit people, but love the people around you. Love the people that love you and do your best, you know? Not to hurt them and not to be hurt by them. Okay? So be the happy you, you know? Just be happy. Um, I feel like that's when you can really start living when you really let go the anger the hate um you realize that you s wasted all your time hating on yourself actually not the other person it was yourself so don't hate yourself anymore don't hate the other person cause they are not worth your time and your precious heart so don't let them have it be happy be at peace so just recall the next time just recall the times that you have opened the bottle of beer liquor whatever and you know just don't do that again because of somebody that hurt you or made you pissed just be this happy you you know and yeah, it will get better. Things will get better. Take it one step at a time and slowly you will be closer to being happy and loving yourself. So that's it for today. So don't be this angry toilet tissue. See, all the it's gone. Can't find that angry face anymore. So yeah, you guys be happy. Just love yourself. Don't hate anymore. Let it go. Forgive. And it's worth it. Okay, so talk to you guys next time. Bye.